hope you've had a nice Sunday so far. It has been another great day. Temperatures again for late February. You really can't beat it. We're seeing numbers in the 50s. We've seen it both days this week, and I love to start with some of these sunny viewer photos. And we have one from Shiloh Jensen. This taken in Western Montana. You can see that blue sky above. Really pretty day for much of the state. In fact, both weekend days have been pretty fantastic. That is going to change. In fact, we're already starting to see a change, and we'll take a look at that in just one second in Western Montana. And I think the entire Entire state has an opportunity to see snowfall both tonight and tomorrow. Certainly some areas more than others. Nikki Cornelius is taken in Frenchtown, Montana. This taken yesterday evening and a great shot of sunset. Again, it was a beautiful day yesterday. Much of the day has been nice as well. Now here's that winter weather advisory once again. Cascade, Mar and Judith Basin counties all under this advisory. You can see much of the state under an advisory right now. But for these areas specifically around our region, we've got four to nine inches of snow. Snowfall expected above 5,000 feet. Also, wind gust very strong up to 50 miles per hour, as you might expect. Kings Hill Pass part of this. So, please be careful if you're traveling. Certainly, we're going to see very difficult travel conditions around the country. Just going to take a quick look here. Again, where are we seeing the most active weather? Really, kind of in the south central part of the country. We're talking about Tennessee stretching back to Mississippi, Arkansas, Oklahoma getting wet, as is Kansas. In fact, a few thunderstorms in Kansas. And then you look at western Montana. We talked about we've got precipitation moving in to the state and what's happening is we're getting snow in the mountains. The valleys a light rain snow mix and that will continue through the evening and overnight hours. In fact, into your Monday current temperatures 52 in Great Falls, 48 Helena, 38 Lewistown, 43 Billings, a lot of low to mid 30s around the state right now. But again, Great Falls, the exception in the low 50s winds 14 out of the west in Great Falls, 14 from the southwest in Billings, 16 out of the west in Butte. Nothing too windy out there. Here's what we've got with our future track. Again, notice you look at the entire state as a move into your Monday and it's not as if everybody's going to get snow, but a lot of the state will see snow. Most of it light. You start getting areas between Glasgow, Glendive could see two, three, four inches of snowfall. Also in the higher elevations, as we mentioned, uh, seeing a good decent amount of snow as well. Highs tomorrow much cooler than today. Just about everyone jumping in the 30s, most low to mid 30s. We've got 35 Great Falls, 37 in Helen tomorrow, 32 in Bozeman forecast moving into Tuesday for Great Falls. We go 35 to 40, so an improvement there in terms of getting warmer uh, for Helena. We're 37 tomorrow, 41 partly cloudy as we head into your Tuesday. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Tuesday. Snow showers diminish statewide. We're going to get sunshine. Still a couple snowflakes hanging on in a few spots. That's really about it. Here's your seven day forecast again. Nice improvement. 40 on Tuesday, 46 Wednesday. Look at this jump. 49 Thursday, 55 and 56 with sunshine Friday and Saturday. A couple beautiful days as we approach next weekend. 48 next Sunday. And again, really going to wrap up February and start March on a great note with the weather, the sunshine, the warm temperatures. Helena, 37 tomorrow. Snow showers. Then we go partly cloudy. 41 on Tuesday, 45 Wednesday, 47 partly cloudy Thursday. Then low to mid 50s Friday and Saturday. Both days featuring a good deal of sunshine. And then next Next Sunday, a little cooler, still got sun in there with a high temperature of 46.